Hello boys and girls and welcome to Grandma Teresa's story time. Today I'll be reading Franklin's Bicycle Helmet. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could zip zippers and buckle buckles, but Franklin couldn't buckle up his bicycle helmet anymore. It was too small. Does your bicycle helmet fit your head? It has to be a proper fit before you go out riding. Franklin's mother took him to the store to get a new helmet. There were rows and rows of helmets to choose from. Franklin picked a silver and white one with a flashing red light on top. This is the one I want, he said. Franklin's mother checked the fit. It was just right. Are you sure you like this helmet, she asked. It's a little flashy. I think it's great, Franklin replied. Okay, said his mother. If that's the one you want, that's the one we'll get. Franklin did a happy dance. That afternoon, Franklin practiced his hand signals for the bike safety rally. You're going to do fine tomorrow, said Franklin's father, and I think Constable Raccoon will be impressed with your new helmet. Franklin smiled proudly. I can't wait to show it up to my friends, he said. The next morning, Franklin took his time getting to the rally. He wanted all his friends to be there when he arrived. He planned to surprise everyone with his new helmet. Do you think they'll be surprised? When he got to the schoolyard, Franklin hid behind some bushes. He could hear his friends talking. Have you seen those funny helmets with a flashing light on top? Asked Fox. I wouldn't wear one, said Beaver. You'd look like a fire engine with one of those on your head. Suddenly, Franklin wasn't so sure about his new helmet. He took it off and hung it on his handlebar. Franklin left his bicycle behind the bushes and walked over to his friends. Where's your bike? asked Beaver. Um, I got a flat tire, Franklin fibbed. I can't ride in a rally, he added sadly. You can borrow my bike, offered Bear. My helmet, too. Franklin cheered up. Okay, Bear, he said. Thanks. See, that's what friends do. They help each other, don't they? Constable Raccoon blew his whistle. It was time for the rally to begin. The riders pushed their bikes toward the starting gate. What's that noise? asked Fox. That's my bike, Rabbit said proudly. I put cardboard in a wheel. Now my bike sounds like a motorcycle. Or like a piece of cardboard is stuck in your wheel, said Fox. He and Beaver laughed and ran ahead. That wasn't very nice of them, was it? making fun of his bicycle. Rabbit looked embarrassed. Maybe I should take the cardboard out, he said. I think it sounds neat, said Franklin. You do? asked Rabbit. I like it too. Rabbit thought for a moment, then made up his mind. My bike is going to stay just the way it is, he declared. Constable Raccoon went over the safety rules, and anyone who finishes the course without making a mistake will earn a shiny safety sticker, he announced. Everyone was excited. Fox was the first to get a sticker. Then Beaver and Rabbit earned their prizes too. Bear did a perfect job. Finally, it was Franklin's turn. He stepped forward with Bear's bike and helmet. Hold on, Franklin, said Constable Raccoon. That helmet is too big for you. A helmet should fit snugly to give proper protection.
Franklin was disappointed. I'm sorry, Franklin, said Constable Raccoon, but it wouldn't be safe for you to ride with that helmet. There will be another rally soon. I'll keep this sticker for you until then, okay? Franklin nodded sadly. The rally was over. Franklin was helping Consta Constable Raccoon pack up when he noticed Rabbit behind the bushes. Rabbit had found his helmet. Franklin raced over. What are you doing? He cried, snatching the helmet away. Rabbit was surprised. Is that yours? he asked. Yes, Franklin admitted, but I don't want anyone making fun of it. I won't make fun of it, said Rabbit. I think it's amazing. You do, said Franklin. He sighed. So do I. Franklin looked at his helmet for a minute, then he put it on. Wait, shouted Franklin as he ran to Constable Raccoon. Well now, said the constable, whose helmet is that? It's mine, Franklin replied, looking at Fox and Beaver, and I like it. Well, I like it too, said Constable Raccoon. It fits you properly, and you'll be seen from a mile away. Be safe be seen. Franklin took a deep breath. Is it too late for me to try out for my safety sticker? Constable Raccoon smiled. You're just in time, he answered. Franklin finished the course perfectly and received his own shiny safety sticker. Then he rode home as fast as he could. I knew all my hand signals, Franklin told his parents. Look at the sticker I earned. Congratulations, said his mother. I knew you could do it, said his father. Did everyone like your new helmet? What do you think he's going to tell his parents? Franklin grinned. I don't know, he replied, but I sure do. So remember, boys and girls, when you're on your bicycle, be safe, be seen, make sure your helmet fits properly, okay? Grandma doesn't want you to get hurt. Until next time, remember, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Stay safe. Bye now.